Let's see. It says Ram Jam Slam says Arden told me about her ship name. Squa side gun squash board. Squash board because a ship is squashed and hard to hit long range. Okay. I'll accept that. I'll accept that explanation. All right. On the Admiral Quackabaw, we've got the uh, Sammy BT Junker of Hades Artemis. Artemis front cat mortar. So once again, sticking with the same thing that they started out with, being very effective for them. And uh, the Dancing Feather, piloted by Frogger. We've got Hades Artemis, Artemis front. And once again, a Gatling Mortar. So very, very standard here. And they are rushing forward again once more very quickly. And on blue team sacrilege, we have the SG Squash Board with the left side Gat Mortar, right side Artemis, 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 piloted by Eridan. Uh, her ally, the Go-Go Communism. Piloted by Communist Pony with uh, his Gat Mortar Pyramidian left side double Artemis. So five Artemis is currently going to town for the blue team. Uh, oh, partially. They've also got some uh, some Gat Fire going on, although I don't think that was actually hitting anything. A uh, few of the Artemis here on Squashboard getting knocked out, and so far, uh, I, I would say blue team definitely got a, a little bit of a worse of it here. But oh yeah, it's uh, Communism losing its whole armor. Uh, not taking any Finally, permanent damage, no, though. Yeah, no permanent damage. And Squashboard's hull is actually still on fire. Which, I don't... That was on fire for an extremely long time. Um, just managed to get it put back on. And here come the Hades shots slamming into the side of the Squashboard. And, uh, you know... Well, you know, I mean, you know the when... The ships are just positioned so much better right now. When you are under active fire, like you're you're t actively taking damage on your whole armor, it's usually better to just get those mallet hits in rather than putting it on the fire cooldown. Just because the fire yeah. has a very low modifier against whole armor, it does damage very well, slowly. Yes, of course, but the, neither was happening, so that's why I found it a little bit peculiar. But they did manage to get it repaired. Uh, took a little bit of permanent damage there. You know, they're still above half, but definitely got a hurt put on them as they got caught out once again by these uh, double Mandarin ships. And it's it's been actually very interesting to see this, the, the fact that how fast the Mandarin ships just get right on in here. Uh, it, uh, it almost seems like they're just catching any uh, enemies uh, still trying to set up their uh, area here, which usually you think you have a little bit more time, but these Mandarin ships just charging on forth trying to catch uh blue ships setting on up here before they can get themselves entrenched into good positions now the squash board almost everything knocked out here all almost all the guns are gone the engines are gone the hull is gone starting to take permanent damage once more and the squash board has just been the absolute focus of these uh, ships so why not <laughs> that gatling is fire just just struggling struggling to hit yeah, something I mean, way too far. The Communist Pony really hasn't done a whole lot. I mean, they've been able to shoot a few Artemis here and there to knock out a few of Dancing Feather stuff, but nothing too too damaging. And in the meantime, the Communist uh, the Gogo Communism is now the one that's in so much trouble as many of the shots are connecting, raining on in here from the Mandarins. Those, ooh, wow, that was an absolute brutal set of shots there from those two ships. And the Mandarins take a 1-0 lead. Man, I... I think if you bring a Pyramidian against long-range Junkers, you have to charge them. Pyramidian is just so vulnerable. Like, you can't win a sniping war against a Junker in a Pyra, just... Unless it's like the... Perhaps the Hades Artemis Pyra, then you really... I don't know, abuse the engaged distance. But trying to use those side weapons, you're just gonna get killed. You don't have... The Pyramidian does not have that much health. Um, or that really that much whole armor compared to the Junker, and it's just, it's a much easier target with, you know, these Junkers, yeah, I mean, of course, with the much slimmer profile, uh, can be more, a little more difficult to hit those shots. And Pyramidians aren't at their strongest when they turn their side weapons. Side weapons are, are you know, they they can be used as a... It's an option. A, a supplemental weapon. You know, it's not something that you want to set up with and have that be in there. If you got a Gat Mortar Pyramidion, you want to be up in the face of your enemies, getting right on them, uh, making them have to dip, duck, dive, 
dodge <laughs> as we go over the five Ds of dodgeball. Uh, you want to have them uh, be on the back foot and not just, you know, ch hoping that m maybe you'll hit something useful. That really nothing was going right there for a Sacrilege team. So they are going to set up in uh, the side here, a little bit different position. Like here, here's a helpful tip for everyone. If you are, if you're in a pyramidian and you forget how to fly a pyramidian, just remember it says ram right in the name of the ship. Yep. Just turn your nose right at them and start, you know, just book it. Get right all up on. Hopefully you, you've had the guns to support that up in the front. But in the meantime, Squashboard came in here by itself and just started shooting off. You know, exposing their exact location. They weren't spotted. But as soon as those first few uh, Artemis shots come um, raining on in, the ducks know exactly where you are. We'll start firing back, even if they're blind firing like they are. If Communist they are getting pony those going hit for the flank. And finally, they're doing what the Pyramid Humans went to do. But once again, we've seen this a few times here. Uh, where Pyramidion or some sort of ship approaches and these two... Enemy ships are gonna nice tar. first tar, uh, which actually doesn't hurt too much there, but uh, the, the gap mortars shots, certainly does. The gap mortars certainly do, and once again, the Mandarins are showing that they can uh, turn themselves absolutely quick to any sort of approach by a ship. And uh, the problem is that the squash board just kind of sat back and continued shooting a few guns and really providing no. Real support well, to I mean, we anything. also saw no ram from the Pyramidian there. I mean, let's let's say hypothetically they went in with a ram. The ram will knock out the gun arcs of their target. It will put them into a little bit of disarray trying to reposition. It will knock off their ability to tar because the engines will be facing a different direction. And it will also do uh, a bit of whole armor damage, allowing to get the hold down more quickly to get those key mortar shots because when you're going into... You know, like you're sneaking up, you're doing a flank, you're game, going, you're essentially going into a 1v2 situation, but you have the element of surprise. You need to kill one of those ships as quickly as you possibly can. Otherwise, like once the element of surprise is worn off, you are just, you're, you're a sitting duck. Absolutely. And Squashboard barely managing to survive in a face load of fire here. Communism coming on in. Uh, they got a few of those, uh, uh, those feel those gat shots off onto the quack bar, but nothing really to do any permanent damage. And the squash board is just just a sneeze away from getting blown off this map, giving the ducks yet another kill. But so far, communism actually doing a pretty good job at blocking shots here. However, he can't continue doing it for too long. Uh, well, it looks like uh, oh, okay, it looks like they are just gonna go after communism now. Ducks taken out. The Pyramidion, who is trying to back up on out of here, and I mean, this is this is never what you want to uh, position that you want to be in, uh, backing up and uh, as a Pyramidion, you you want to be charging forth. And so far, Mandarins really haven't had any sort of challenge to their uh, positioning right over here. You know, uh, Squashboard has taken out components here and there, but once again, just you rebuild them. <laughs> Uh, you, no permanent haul going down at all and that triple Artemis, while it can be quite effective, uh, when all you've got is triple Artemis, it's not seeming to do a whole lot against two ships at once. Well, and just the Hades on each of those Mandarin Junkers gives them so much more killing potential at long range than uh, you see Squashboard with that triple Artemis. Artemis it, while the Artemis will eventually take down the whole armor, you add the Hades into the mix and it's just so much faster. It makes you so much more of a threat. And every time that whole armor on Squashboard gets close to going down, Squashboard has to retreat, um, which gives the Mandarin a reprieve from the, um, you know, the opposing Artemis fire. Absolutely, and it also gives them a little bit of time to maybe go after communism like they are currently. And, uh, wow, this, they just... just getting the tightest, closest shots possible, moving on forth, continuing to try to find that Arkham Communism, who is still spotted, but uh, is probably going to try to get around here. Which one of their engines was out there? It looks like it was a turning engine that was out, so not their main. So they do manage to pick up some speed, but now Star, or Starboard, Squashboard is the one that pokes his nose out, Dancing Feather. 
coming back in and again I will quack actually catch him here it looks like they are trying their darn it to do so dancing feather looks like he's gonna move back in as well yep and they are gonna try to take squashboard out right here and squashboard is in a pretty bad position as it's getting all sorts of fire thrown on it and its components with moving on forth and I mean I gotta say it's fairly admirable jump here by squashboard uh, trying to evade all this fire but uh, they, they just you can't continue doing this and hope to win go with communism now taking the brunt of that Hades and Artemis fire and uh, it's also I gotta I gotta commend the mandarins for hitting with that Hades as often as they are it can get a little bit difficult to hit with those uh, mortar type weapons uh, but pretty much every single shot well, as I say that the dancing feather misses most of them but the Admiral quack bar connects and down goes gogo -Go communism for a 4-0 lead and I mean with squash board being at the extreme low health that it is this is this is, uh, you know, if, if, if it was a mountain for sacrilege to climb, you are now facing Everest. If there was a mountain to reverse into immediately, it would be this mountain right here. Um, if only Tarside was still in the game, this would be the, this would be the situation in which you Tarside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, instead, if you do Thanks, that now, you do, give, you do give the other team the kill, so... Don't want to quite do that. Man, that Hades fire. Yep, no spots. Absolutely connecting. Just following the markers, uh, being extremely adept at knowing uh, uh, where a ship is going, uh, being very map aware of uh, exactly where your enemy is, and communism is not going to get stuck out here. And, I mean, this has just been in one ship after another, just getting stuck out here in the open, and oh my god, that is such a huge amount of damage in such a short time, and they do knock their armor back up, and down goes Go Communism 4, 8, 5, 0, oh, Mandarin victory, and they are just looking absolutely dominant today. The next map will be Duel at Dawn. And we'll see if Sacrilege can make a little bit of a comeback here. Or if the Mandarins will uh, collect yet another trophy. Oh, look, look. I personally like Mongolian beef the most. And if it's from Pan Express, I like their firecracker chicken. That's what it is. I like the spicy. Even though orange chicken does have a little bit of spice to it. But we are finally getting into the game on Duel at Dawn and between the Mandarins and the Sacrilege team on the Admiral Quack Bar. We still have that Gap Mortar one side with the Artemis front and Mortar or, uh, Hades Artemis on the other. And on the Dancing Feather, we've got still uh, Hades Artemis, Artemis front, Gap Mortar side. So no change once more for the Mandarin team. And on the blue team sacrilege, we have the Bridget Blind side, powered by Ari Den. Um, it is a Gant Mortar Pyramid in left side, double Artemis. Her ally, the Leth? 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 The. Letha? Another Letha? Gatling Mortar Letha? Pyramidian uh, with another double Artemis left side. So we have. Uh, we've got mirrored builds from both teams. Bridget and Blind side. Trying to blindside Mandarins, I don't think it's going to succeed as as she charges out in front of her ally. Oh, yeah, Letty no. was was spinning around in circles, uh, pointed the wrong way, and the bridge of blindside just decided to go for it and gonna get caught right into this two v one. We'll see if the left can actually pull something. Oh my God, a lot of those. Uh, a lot of those Hades are actually just flying off wildly. So Leth is getting the Admiral Quack Bar to itself. Dancing Feather will probably close pretty quickly here. Yes, it does. And Admiral Quack Bar looking like it's going to be just fine. Using that giant balloon of its to try to buffer some of those shots. That Gatling going into the balloon. Not going to do a whole lot of damage. And uh, Leth is going to be in a lot of trouble here. But the Bridge of Plants that actually spawns right behind them. And the Admiral Quack Bar is going to get taken out. Oh my god, the Admiral Quackbar! Oh, with mortar. just a sliver of health mortar. left. Oh my god. Almost got and him with the, the Gatling gun, taken but... taken down. Oh, wow. That was a just by the skin of their teeth. I uh, think that's what, get that kill. That's what we in the business call a heartbreaker. 
Absolutely, and I did just so incredible. Oh, nice but spawns. The left now spawns right behind Both of him them. The dancing feather. Oh yes, this is exactly what sacrilege needs. Sacrilege, uh, sacrilege needs here. As the Bridget Blindside is getting a blindside onto that <laughs> dancing feather targo and down. Uh, let's see if the left can stay alive here. As the dancing feather using its own gap mortar is the. Where's the crack bar go? Uh, oh, platform is kind of hanging up. back uh, behind on the other side of the tar. Yeah, and the left is actually getting caught out here because I think their crew members were a little bit slow getting to their stations, and they are going to get just blown out of the sky here as the Bridget Blindside was somewhere. I'm not sure where the Bridget Blindside went to, and this is the one of the problems that can happen if you're spawning close into battle. It takes some time for your... Uh, characters to uh, load on in and get to their stations and in a you know 10 15 second time that gap mortar can rip you to shreds and this almost wow i cannot believe how oh wow the left spawns right back in here into the midst of these ships and uh, you can see it's not moving it's just sitting there taking that gatling fire this is oh my god this is absolute wreckage here Left's gonna yeah, try to just, move on out. I mean, looks like yeah, Left just right wanting, wanting to uh, save he... his ally. Roll, just trying to get into the game, mashing the deploy button. I'm sure and. Oh, uh, Bridget Blindside trying to take down the Quack Bar here. Left also focusing on him, but Blindside is the one who gets his armor knocked. Oh, look at that Gatling fire! First, and those mortars come raining on it, but man, just rebuild. Oh my God, what a clutch rebuild there! However. Still taking huge amounts of damage there, just a tiny bit of health left, and down it goes to that gat fire to finish this map off, and that was an extremely quick, bloody, dirty fight between the Mandarins and Sacrilege team. Mandarins coming out with a 5-0 victory. Quackbar so extremely close to going down at the front there, but just managing to stay alive, and then it was just one spawn after another in the same location very predictably and uh, uh well manners took full advantage of that positioning